Hey guys, what's up? It is I, it is me, Chef Duke J Foods, and I specialize in all of your food service and culinary needs. Your ultimate food authority. That's me, that's who I am. Um, today I'm gonna work on something for you guys um, that I like. Uh, the French call it pan perdue. That's what the French call it. At the end of the day, it's just basic French toast. Real simple. I'm gonna start by getting my French toast battered together. I got my heat, my pan heating on medium heat. I wanna go ahead and get my batter together. I wanna start with some eggs. Crack them into my bowl. Actually think I'm gonna do another egg. I did two, but I think this is gonna cause for three. And this is real simple. This is very similar to what I do for my um, bread pudding. Very, very, very similar to what I do for my bread pudding. So I have my eggs and get a towel. I'm gonna lightly beat these eggs. Just to kind of get them started. I'm gonna poke the yolks. And then give them a beat. And again, this is gonna be more put the milk in all the other ingredients in it. So no, no biggie. All right, so we got our eggs started. To my eggs, I'm going to add some milk. Now you can use half and half, you can use cream. I find just using regular old everyday milk works well for me. Stir. And you're essentially just making a custard. Milk product, egg, sugar. Really all that, that, that's in this. And I'm gonna add a little nutmeg and a little cinnamon. I'm gonna season this. I want it to taste good. Little cinnamon. This is where your flavoring is gonna come from. Now for the bread pudding, I usually do this with white chocolate, but white chocolate isn't necessary for this. I'm also gonna add a little vanilla. Now if you want to give a little bit, of course you can add some melted white chocolate to this and it'll be amazing, but it's not necessary. I'm gonna go ahead and get some butter put in my pan so it can start melting. I'm gonna add some sugar to my mix as well. Now again, again, this I'm just eyeballing. Cook it how you feel it. This is your food, you know what your family likes. You know what you like. Make it what you want it to be. If you like it sweeter, add more sugar. If you like it less sweet, don't add any sugar at all. Um, I've done this recipe and not even needed syrup in the past. And I'm just going to give this a mix so that sugar dissolves, that cinnamon and nutmeg is evenly distributed. I'm just working my butter around the pan. Get that nice and melted. Turn it up just a little bit. Of course, you can use a whisk for this as well. I chose to be lazy and use a fork. Now, 
the next thing you're going to need is some bread. Now, if you have some stale bread, that is ideal for something like this. This bread has kind of been chilling out in the refrigerator because it is a little past its life. slice at a time. It's still kind of fresh, but it's still kind of dry as well. So I want to go ahead and I'm going to dip my bread in my batter. Make sure that bread absorbs all that milk. I'm going to drain my excess. And then I'm going to put it in my pan. And I'm going to cook this low and slow. Low and slow is the key to this. So I have, I have my heat on about a medium. I, I want the eggs to cook, but I definitely want the, I want it to puff in the center. And while that first slice is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my items up. See, this is something so simple. Um, if you had a thicker slice of bread, you could do this stuffed with some cream cheese and possibly some vanilla. Cream cheese or maybe some chocolate or mascarpone. You can stuff it with the strawberries. You can stuff it with anything. So we'll cook this on medium, medium low. And of course, when you're using a nonstick pan, you want to always use a rubber or a plastic spatula. And I'm, this is starting to puff, I can see it already. So I'm just going to give it a quick turn. And you can see the first side looks really scrumptious. Let it cook a little longer. And that really is it. You wanna let it brown and get crispy around the edges. That sugar's gonna caramelize. It's gonna get crispy around the edges and nice and sweet and delicious. Um, and then I'm gonna put it on a plate and I'm gonna serve it with some fresh maple syrup. I love this stuff. This stuff is liquid gold. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get a plate ready because it doesn't take really that long. cook these and of course if you want to do these in advance you can definitely do it in advance and hold them in the oven to keep them warm until service time let's say you were doing a bunch of them for your family you can just start them off and then heat them up to keep them warm in a 200 degree oven that'll be good same thing with pancakes you cook them waffles you cook them and you hold them in the oven for a little while Look at how nice and pretty and golden brown that is. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, so I'm gonna get a few more of these done and I'll be right back and we'll, um, we'll taste it. Okay guys, I'm wrapping up my pan Purdue. Got a few more slices to do. Um, cooking this for my mother because y'all know she greedy she gonna want some and I just want to show you one last time get my bread and my batter put it in my skillet back on the low heat I 
right. And it doesn't take these long at all. I think I'm gonna actually do an extra one. Since I have some more milk mixture left. And that's it for my loaf of bread. My loaf of bread is gone. So, that's a great- Okay one. guys, here I am. I have my pan Purdue or my French toast, as we probably know it as. I'm about to smash real good some syrup. Now, I don't even need extra butter or anything like that on it. Just a little bit of syrup. And my fork. And I'm going to a whole nother world. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Perfectly sweetened. So, yep, yeah, that's Pam Purdue French toast. Hopefully, you guys try it and like it. And uh, I'm about to finish eating. I'll get with y'all later.